Yo guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing something a bit different on today's video. So I'm on Twitter, of course. Be sure to follow me. And they just announced from Dragon Ball Legends, we're getting a Cell Saga campaign. Now I'm going to be doing a top 5 most wanted Zenkais to come to this campaign. And uh, honestly, I'm going to expect two as Zenkais. One with the LF and obviously one with the 1%. If you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. And yeah, let's do this. All right, first one right here, Android 18. Now, the reason why I picked this unit is because of the boy MVP 17. This guy is a very, very underrated unit, and he does not have a Zenkai buffer. Legends, if you guys are watching this, please Zenkai this 18 so they can buff blue androids. Honestly, because MVP 17 deserves it, man. Like he's actually really good. But the problem with her Z ability is only for blue units. See if they're gonna Zenkai units. All they have to do is to update the Z ability. All they have to do, please. Because blue like is great for Super 17, but what about the other units that we're gonna be using in the meta? So they have to really solve that issue with Z ability on old Zenkai units. But if they're gonna Zenkai this unit, please be blue androids. Now, in terms of usability, she'd be a great option to kind of stop Beast Gohan running around in the meta. Obviously, as you can see here on the second unique ability, 40% to strike damage against hybrid sins, which is a bit huge, okay? But yeah, this is very good. Uh, again, this would be a great support. Zenkai Bench Force uh, MVP 17. But yeah, Android 18 as a Zenkai buffer for MVP 17. All right, number two here is Perfect Cell. Oh boy, if this guy gets a Zenkai. Hyper Saiyan players are shaking in their boots because right now androids are very very strong and to get this guy to be Zenkai whoo, Beast Gohan is gonna be shivering <laughs> in the meta but honestly this would be a perfect way to make Cell Saga you know campaign to be really really good getting this guy Zenkai and also I want to point out something see regen right purple regen they don't have a dedicated purple regen buffer zenkai like that is nuts you have zamasu who is a dedicated uh, purple gaki zenkai you have 21 who is a dedicated uh, under purple zenkai and then you have um super Jinemba who is a dedicated uh powerful opponent purple zenkai buffer we don't have a regen purple zenkai unit that's a buffer and this will help so many units like, you know, this guy right here, you know, perfect for himself, who's very, very, very good right now in the meta, uh, very underrated too. Uh, that will help him a lot. Also, <clears throat> this guy too, uh, Power Waking Piccolo, you don't really see him as much just because of his uh, kits, his usability on certain teams. But honestly, this will help this guy so goddamn much because right now it's very hard to like build regen as a team because they they do need like a very good z ability uh buffer so a bench support sorry and also like a zenkai buffer that's a regen uh, so this would be a great option if legends can do this this would be good in terms of usability he'd be a great option to regen and also to Andrews because right now they have a uh, lf super 17 gamma one and two obviously perfect form cell and MVP 17 and him being like a good optional Zenkai LF unit would be great uh, not gonna lie um, he's gonna be the one to like do a lot of damage to hybrid Saiyans obviously in his kit if they are gonna fully Zenkai him they should put like damage to Saiyans as well because Saiyans right now is just like really taking over the meta because of Goku and Bardock UI sign Goku who else uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and then Spirit Bomb Goku, like that's like the main meta shakers right now. So yeah, it'd be kind of good for him to do damage to uh, Saiyans, obviously go type neutral, um, if he does have one. I haven't read his kit for a long time, oh my god. But yeah, uh, just a quick glance, you guys can correct me in the comment section, uh, comment section, oh my god, can we speak today? <laughs> um but yeah hopefully he has like type neutral uh you know against the enemy obviously a lot of damage a lot of defense tools for him but yeah he'd be a great optional zenkai unit 
uh, if you don't have perfect form cell um, because uh, obviously you want you know region and Andrew to be pretty good and obviously to have options on their team but yeah number two is perfect cell all right number three let's just get this out of the way let's zenkai this guy now let me tell you the reason why zenkai this guy and we're good of course a lot of people are scared of his blue card i'm also scared of his blue card but i don't think he's going to be as powerful like before if you guys you know were playing the game in the past this guy was really really good obviously because of his uh, blue card but he'd be a great great zenkai buffer for goku and barda because right now we only have like one zenkai buffer that's a green saiyan and that is super saiyan 3 goku uh which is very very sad um because we obviously got gogeta he, he's supposed to have like um a zenkai buffer for saiyan but they gave it to gt kai Ken was the next option but they gave it to like um freezer saga i think and uh, let's quickly check right here uh yeah freezer saga which is so silly like there's no good green unit other than Gilder and raccoon um so yeah um vegeta obviously understandable because vegeta clan um but yeah they need like another good green saiyan like if we don't get that for this campaign this would be so bad but yeah good option in terms of a Zenkai uh, unit for Goku and Barter, but Z ability, like again, like I said about you know Android 18, the Z ability is so bad, like they need to really update that because how are you gonna build like a functional team for like let's say Saiyans and then the only buffer, like the only Z ability buff you're giving is Goku and Barter, and that's it, and then you're using UI sign Goku, also UI sign Goku be on Leo's so but I'm talking about like the third option unit, like like let's say like Beast Gohan, like for for like team sake, and he's not getting that. Like we need like updated Z ability. Like Legends, please do that. Okay, 2024, you have to do it. But yeah, that is Super Saiyan Goku for the next Zenkai. All right, so number four, Revival Cell. Now the way they have to handle this guy. If you guys know with transforming Zenkai units, their stack goes up their damn roof. And with this guy, let's say if he didn't pull Super 17, and this guy potentially, potentially got a Zenkai, his stats in terms of strike attack, blast attack, defense will be so goddamn high. It will really depend on the kit and how they structure the kit for him as well. But in terms of the stat, obviously with the art boost as well, like it's gonna be so goddamn high. Like imagine a revival Zenkai. You just have to watch yourself like when you're facing this guy. But it'd be really good for him to get the Zenkai just because you know, just in case you don't have Super 17 or another good red unit, he'd be a good option for like um, you know, Android region. Not so for future right now because future is not as good right now in the meta. But he'd be a great option for Android all region. Uh, in terms of Zenkai buffers, um, let's have a look. So red region, I think we have that already. And uh, let's have a look here. There's this guy. Wait, let's see. I never fully Zenkai this guy. Okay, we do have one. Um, I mean. It wouldn't hurt if we got another one, uh, but let's take a look at future. I think future is already packed in terms of like Zenkai buffers. And let's have a look here. Oh yeah, uh, Trunks and my buffing uh, Red Future. Yeah, of course. Um, Rose, Red Powerful Opponent. Like I mean, I wouldn't mind if Legend just gives another Red Zenkai buffer to future. To be honest, because you never know, future could be very blast based in the future. Um, you know, with the upcoming releases this year, we might get like Ultra Zamasu can be like a very strong blast unit. Um, another Vegito can be like a transforming Vegito who has like a rain type blast mechanic or something like something like that. You never know, but yeah, him to be a revival Zenkai unit would be very, very huge. 
and in the game he'd be like the first one and that would probably give us a little hint of what's to come for 50th anniversary and legend festival like for all we know they could they could zenkai that purple revival super saiyan 2 gohan like that'd be oh boy that'd be so huge like that'd be so huge but yeah a uh, perfect form cell as a revival zenkai all right number five here is heat trunks now the reason why i picked this guy is two reasons vegeta clan and hybrid saiyans now let's go to hybrid saiyans now hybrid saiyan doesn't have like a dedicated red hybrid saiyan that's a strike buffer and uh, obviously people are using super Genova from the movie saga uh tag obviously if you want to build like a full hybrid saiyans team obviously you want to use the hybrid saiyan zenka buffer i know that we have um super saiyan 2 gohan but he's like a blast face unit um gamonin 2 whoa not gamonin 2 i mean great saiyan man 1 and 2 are also a good zenka buffer for beast gohan but we don't have like um let's say like a super Genimba button hybrids uh he'd be a great option like look at his z ability really quickly 25 percent if you have him 14 stars uh, giving hybrid saiyans or vegeta clan strike attack and defense for during during battle war <laughs> but yeah that is really good and then with the zenka buffer dedicated to red hybrids like you win like beast go home would be very very good <laughs> with that z ability and also with the zenka buffer now if they decided <laughs> if they did decided to go for vegeta clan let's take a look at the reds now for the red and uh, we have one from vegeta Khan, which is Marjorie vegeta and um, it's all right but if you take a look at this z ability is not that great um you know only giving 28 percent to blast attack to saiyans and you know like i mean like vegeta Khan is a blast based unit but you never know like vegeta Khan might be strike based in the future and that's why i picked trunks just because of that z ability once again is actually really good if you have him 14 stars and this would be a good way to help vegeta Khan because right now i do want vegeta Khan for this year to be really good like 100 percent like they made gt so godly with super 17 and spirit from kid goku why not vegeta clan like honestly all right so these are the two units that i want to see definitely getting a zenkai awakening during the cell saga campaign 18 and lf perfect cell and uh, obviously i already state my reason for 18 but definitely for cell uh just because he's gonna be that unit to really shake up the meta and also help androids really really good like androids right now is just like they need like like some type of monster i love zenkai and i think this guy will fit the shoe on that team and also for region too uh just to have like a dedicated like a uh, purple region and then gonna again explain for 18 obviously for mvp 17 he needs a zenkai buffer it's long overdue please legends do that right now but yeah, hopefully you guys do like this little discussion video here for the prediction for the next uh, Zenkai unit coming to the Cell Saga. If you guys want more, be sure to like the video and yeah, comment down below which Cell Saga 1% uh, unit you know, or LF unit should get the Zenkai. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.